Welcome to Excel for Business with Ray Colon. Lesson 2 Text Functions Match and Index. Today we will use Match and Index in combination to pull data from our spreadsheet. Initially, we will set up the formulas separately and then combine them so you can see how it all works. <coughs> we have a sample spreadsheet here of office supply expenses for various locations for various time periods, the first quarter of the year. <laughs> uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be using drop-down boxes to indicate the period and the location that we're looking for and that will end up giving us the result using these two formulas. The first thing we'll do is review how to set up a drop-down box. Here we want to indicate the period so we will click on that cell and we will say data validation. There are only two things you have to do in this validation drop down box. First is to select under allow you select list. Secondly you would select the range finder here for source and as you can see I've set it up already to give me each of the periods the titles for each of the periods. So that would be cell B3 through E3. Okay. Now for locations, we will do the same thing. Data, validation, select list, and then highlight the source that contains the different locations without the title. So that would be A4 through A9. Okay. All right, so now our drop-down boxes are functional. We can select any period and any region using these drop-down boxes. So we'll reset it to January and region one. <clears throat> now we'll set up match formulas to turn those drop-down boxes into information we can use. So here I've shown you what are in cell C11 and C12. Next to them, I've typed out the formula so you can see them a little better. The way match works is that you indicate the cell that contains the information you're looking for and then you show you indicate what the range is that contains that may contain that information. So in this case we want to match one to excuse me we'd want to match one in the range B3 through E3. So B3 E3 as you can see are the titles. So January selected in this drop down box results in a 1 and that is the first column in that range January. You can see if we change that to February the match returns a 2 and that is the second column in the range. We'll do the same for location. We'll do equals match we're showing whatever is in the drop down box for location in B12 equals match open parenthesis B12 and then we'll indicate the range A4 through A9 so when the drop down box searches for region 1 it returns a 2 which is the second row first second the second row in that range okay so now we have the information we need to combine with index to give us the final result. Now the index function works a little differently. Equals index, open parenthesis, and then you indicate the range of all of the data. As you can see I have B4 through E9. So that's B4 through E9. If you notice it's all of the numerical data in the ranges without the headings. So equals index B4 through E9 which I have highlighted comma and now you indicate the row number. Actually let me go back and change this period back to January and we'll leave the location at region 1. Returning back to the index formula <coughs> index equals equals index open parenthesis range B4 to E9 
and then we'll say we, we want the row number which we have here as C12 which is the result that we obtained from our match function for location you see that's 2 so the row number is 2 then you do a comma and you indicate the column number so in this case it's 1 so let's test it out row 2 1 2 column 1 move over to the right 1 586 As you can see that's the that's the answer we obtained from our index function we'll change it to period March that would make it column 3 so index row 2 column 3 1 2 column 3 1 2 3 you can see that's 500 <coughs> so separately these formulas get us to the answer but it would be much better to have a single formula to do that we will modify both of our match formulas by making all of the references absolute value so you click on the formula you go to the edit line and you hit F4 over each of the cell references enter we'll do the same thing with our second match formula F4 F4 enter now those formulas are absolute values so if we copy or move them the ranges won't change lastly we have to replace in our index formula C12 and C11 with these match formulas so since C12 is the location we'll start with that one we'll copy the formula except for the equal sign hit escape go to our index formula shade over C12 paste so we replace C12 with that second match function now we'll do the same thing with the other one copy the formula except for the equals replace C11 by shading it and paste and now we have a single formula that accomplishes everything so we no longer need these match formulas we don't need the description <clears throat> we can move this now to anywhere on the spreadsheet we'll put it here under our drop down boxes and now we'll test it we'll select a period of the first quarter that would give us the total and totals so that would be the last row a little bit narrow there we go 12,273 as you can see the total for the first quarter is 12,276 excuse me and there you have it